still trying to process all that ending. Um, really proud of our guys. Uh, from the standpoint that it was it was so many different people. Phil's going to get a lot of the credit for the shot, but uh, um, <clears throat> to finish the game two for your last 15, uh, that's kind of a helpless feeling. As a coach, you don't quite know where to go, but uh, uh, you shoot 33% on the road, and you have to find a way to win. That was an NCAA tournament-like game where things get really hard, and nothing's easy. And uh, uh, the 20 offensive rebounds was huge. Uh, very, very, I guess, ironic that we got an offensive rebound, kicked it out. Phil hit the three off the offensive rebound. Um, but uh, Mitchell Solomon hadn't played very well tonight. Wasn't one of his better games. He hits two big free throws. And then Juwan just gets on the floor and makes a play. That's what I want our program to be about, is hard work, hustle, uh, toughness. Um, and I thought we did that tonight. We were, we were fortunate. Uh, I felt like it'd have to only be down one because uh, I thought we were real flat. Uh, we, Jeff had a tough night and, uh, again, give OU a lot of credit for that. Uh, they made his looks very difficult. But uh, uh, the other thing that I thought was, was a big key for us, and we, we talked very quickly about it uh, yesterday, but keeping Doolittle Odoms out of the paint. Uh, we call it the box, and I thought we did a very nice job on them. Uh, McGusty's a heck of a player. I saw him play a bunch when I was at Stephen F. Austin, and, and um, he got going. But uh, for the most part, I thought we did a good job of keeping him, keeping him in front of us for most of the night. <clears throat> Questions? Coach, what was going through your mind on that last uh, possession? Well, I wanted to see what they ran. And uh, we've, we've worked on switching that. Uh, but I knew that there would be a great opportunity because I was going to leave Phil in. Phil's tough, even though he's small, leave Juwan in. So I knew if he switched, there was going to be a chance that they were going to throw something to the rim. Uh, so we backed out of that. Uh, that's why I called the timeout. Um, and then, uh, you know, then it was just them inbounding the ball. You know, they've got time for one one dribble or two, or a quick pass, and then just sit down and guard. And uh, um, you know, Jeffrey uh, challenged, and uh, you know, we we're fortunate to uh, to get that stop and get a rebound. And and we talked about the uh, you know the ball gets on the rim. A lot of a lot of games are lost with the offensive putback, and let's let's. Not just stare at the ball. Let's all do our do our do our job, which is block out. Coach, can you talk about Juwan's ability to get to the rim? Seemingly, it will. And even though he turned it over some in the second half, he got to the free throw line 16 times. Yeah, it's just who Juwan is. Juwan in ball screens is really a tough guard, and, and uh, uh, we lean on him so much uh, at times um, to to do that. And you know, it was again tough. He made. Made some great passes tonight that, that Mitch and that we've we usually finish, but uh, um, you, you've got to kind of pick your poison with Juwan, how you want to guard him, whether you want a hard hedge and extend, whether you want to catch and play soft or switch, and, and he's so crafty that uh, that he can attack most anything you throw at him. It's one of those uh, tremendous gifts Juwan has, and he had a tough shooting night, but. Uh, uh, Little, little deceptive when you get to the free throw line 16 times, and, and unfortunately he missed a few that uh, he doesn't normally miss. But uh, uh, I think Juwan showed, you know, why he's one of the better guards in this conference. Nobody's had more disappointment on this team down here than Phil. Kind of cool to see him be the guy to hit that shot right there. Yeah, I was just told Phil's never hit a game winner, um, and it's only fitting. And I, 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 I talk too much about Phil and and his. Uh, what he means to, to me, what he mean, has meant to Oklahoma State, uh, his commitment, uh, not just getting the three-point record last Saturday, uh, but his work and his passion and, and uh, what an unbelievable young man. And uh, for him to do that in Bedlam, hit a game winner when, he, when you haven't done it in your career, and, and to get a win in here, um, I think it was 2004, was, was the last time that the Cowboys have won in here. Uh, and to do it in that fashion with Phil was pretty meaningful. 
Lindy seemed uh, extremely comfortable playing in his hometown, and I, I wonder if this night you think had anything to do with the venue, or just uh, just had a good game. I hope it had something to do with that. I think he's probably played a few pickup games in here over the time, and 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 um, you're always happy when somebody goes home and they get an opportunity to play. And um, you know, we missed Lindy a lot. Lindy was Lindy was out four games with a concussion. And uh, you don't just bounce back from that and just jump right back into the fray and start diving on the floor for loose balls and throwing yourself out there. He was a little cautious. Uh, the last week, he has been tremendous. And, and we saw tonight how good a player Lenny Waters is going to be uh, for, for many years at Oklahoma State. And uh, um, you know his shot, he was one of the two. Phil had one, and Lindy had the other. Had you know big, big three to kind of stop a little momentum on their, on their side. Brad, before the game, you questioned whether this was a rivalry, considering OU had won seven in a row since 04. They had beat OSU here in Norman. Do you think this game lived up to the name of Bedlam? Absolutely. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, it's as an outsider, being involved, in, in, and, you, you know, when Bedlam happens, you know, you know exactly who it is. Everybody in the country knows what Bedlam is and, and who's involved. And, and yet, uh, it hasn't been very competitive. And that's a fact. And, you know, rivalries are, are good when there's games like this. And you throw out the records, and the records don't mean anything, and you're sitting at the water cooler, and you're arguing with your counterpart, and that's fun. And uh, I think every player comes to and, and enjoys those moments, and I think we all do as coaches. And it's, uh, um, it, it's, it's, it's good for us to win one. Feel like you expected it to feel your first Bedlam game? Um, yeah, you know, I mean, you just, you, you know, I, I try really hard to keep it very simple, and and yet I know it's I know it's important, and I know how important it is to our fans, and we had a sellout Saturday, and just electric atmosphere, and and then to follow that up with Bedlam, you know, I was, I was, um, you know, I'm glad tomorrow's a day off. And uh, you, you emotionally get uh, uh, get dialed in, and, and I have so much respect for Lon, and uh, he's been a dear friend and a, and a mentor in a lot of ways to me uh, as I followed his career. So, um, uh, you know, it, it, it. But yeah, I think Bedlam's back a little bit, and, and the rivalry's back. You touched on Cam in the beginning. He had career high twenty-two points tonight. Can you just talk about his game tonight and moving forward? That is good. Got to face him for. However long, um, I we had a we had a player at, at Stephen F from his high school from Kitty High School. When he was actually on our campus quite a bit, and uh, it's been fun to see him grow. You know, he was a young man who wasn't considered maybe a great shooter in high school, but stepping into threes and just so confident. And and uh, uh, as as he continues to get bigger, I mean, he's he's one of the elite freshmen in this in this conference, and he really had his way with us the first half. He got it wherever he wanted. And uh, jumped over us, made shots, and uh, uh, very, very talented player. And I think one of the elite freshmen in our league. Anything else? Thanks, Thank you, Coach. Thank you.